YouTube, Get Devious here. This is my very first video I'm posting uh, for retro gaming. Um, this is actually a response to Gamester81. Um, I wanted to talk today just for a few minutes about a, uh, an original Nintendo NES accessory um, that I recently bought brand new. And I'm so impressed with it and with the quality of this little device that I, I just I wanted to post on it. Um, I'm actually out of town. Um, I'm not at home this summer. I'm, a, I'm away for the summer. And uh, I wasn't sure what I would be facing when I got here. I hadn't seen what, this, what the place was like that I'd be staying. Um, so I knew that I wanted to bring something with me, some, you know, some kind of classic gaming, so I could have something to do over the course of the summer if I had any downtime or whatever. Um, so I chose to bring my original uh, Nintendo NES. Same exact console I've had my entire life since kindergarten. Um, so I brought that along with a small box of, you know, my favorite games. Um, got it set up. And I just bought this accessory. Uh, as I said, I was fortunate enough to find it brand new in the box. Um, it's called the Nintendo NES Satellite. Let's take a quick look at it. Okay, so here's the device. Um, this is called the Nintendo NES Satellite. This was an officially licensed Nintendo NES uh, accessory that came out in 1990 at the height of the uh, NES's popularity. Um, you may notice it looks an awful lot like the, uh, like the Nintendo NES 4 score. Um, it does allow for up to four players for four-player games like Off-Road. Um, player 1, 2, 3, and 4. And of course, you just plug in your controller into here. Um, it offers uh, turbo support for both A and B buttons. So uh, if you push that down, it turns the uh, B button into uh, rapid fire. Um, that applies to all four controller ports at one time. So if player one is playing against the other three players and he wants to have rapid fire um, or turbo on button B, that's going to apply to all of the controller ports. But you know, it's Nintendo. If you're playing, if you've got four people playing the same game, they're probably all going to want rapid fire. Um, so, uh, but this, you know, this has a really nice feel to it. The button has a really nice solid click to it. Um, the unit feels nice and solid. This does not feel cheap in any way. Um, this also has light gun support. If you can see here, um, normally you have it switched in controller mode. Um, if you flick it over to light gun mode, uh, that will enable the light gun, of course. And of course, we have a, a power button here. Um, this thing runs on um, three, I'm sorry, it runs on six C batteries. Um, they just slide in here very nicely. Uh, it does add a bit of weight to the unit, but it, again, it, it has a really nice, solid quality feel, and, and having that additional weight really makes this thing feel firm, like it's not going to be sliding around on your bed. Um, what makes this unit unique and extremely helpful um, is that this is a wireless device. Uh, you power it up here, the power button. This is an infrared beam coming through here, um, just like you'd have in a remote control. And basically what this unit is, is, is it's a remote control four score device. Um, and this sends a signal to the uh, Nintendo, the, the NES control deck, to make this thing, um, uh, to give the Nintendo wireless control capabilities. Um, you know, and one of the features I really like about this, this thing um, has a battery save option. If it doesn't feel um, any activity or function coming from the controller within a couple minutes, this thing powers itself down. Um, I also want to say that I really like the looks of this thing. Um, this matches perfectly the NES control deck and all of the Nintendo accessories. Um, the lines, the colors, the plastic, the quality of the device. Um, this definitely is a top-grade Nintendo product. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this thing in action and uh, see some gameplay. By the way, guys, I did just want to quickly show you this. This is the infrared receiver that comes with the uh, satellite. Um, this is a really, gosh, it's actually really stuck in there. Um, this is a really nice device. Um, this is the other end of it. Um, again, the looks and the quality matches uh, the NES. If you can see here, there's two little, um, two little connectors. And this just snaps right in here um, to the control deck. Plugs right in. And uh, it, matches, it matches the looks of, of the NES. Okay, guys, I just want to give a quick demonstration of the accuracy of this satellite. 
Um, I loaded Rad Racer into the NES control deck on top of the TV. Um, I'd say that's a good 10 feet away, 12 feet away maybe, um, from there to here. I don't know if you can tell that um, in the webcam. Uh, I've got the NES satellite here on the edge of the bed in the other corner of the room. I'm going to power that sucker on. And, uh, you know, I chose Rad Racer because a lot of, you know, really any game you play, if there's a lag, it's going to throw you off. Um, and even, you know, a quarter of a second can mean the difference between, you know, passing a car or hitting a bad guy um, or not. But this thing, guys, this thing really performs very well. So I just want to give a quick demo of that. Let's try and get through Rad Racer and see how well we can do. Okay guys, so this is the first time I've ever played Rad Racer with this thing, and I managed to get through the whole first entire course uh, without a single crash. So I can definitively say that uh, this little thing is really one of the highest quality Nintendo accessories you could possibly hope to find. Not only that, it, it really is functional. Um, you know, I can do without an NES Max controller, I can do without a lot of the other, uh, you know, U-Force and things like that that seem to hinder gameplay. This thing really adds a nice update to the NES to where you can have wireless controls and not forfeit accuracy in gameplay. So, anyways, guys, I just want to thank you for watching. Um, uh, you know, again, this is a response to Gamester81, uh, and I just want to give him a shout out. Check me out. Uh, you can check out my website at getdevious.com, uh, or you can check out my gaming site, atari7800.com. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. John, why don't you go in the other room? You're making me nervous. I'll go in the other room. I'm sorry, John. I just, I have to get this done, man. You're going to have me... John!